Cause it's time to get ready To wave your wands and do some Marley magic Make a bit of Marley magic Wave your wand just like me Hello boys and girls, welcome to our second week of magic here at Marley the Magician's Magic House. Well, thank you very much. I know everybody enjoyed the show last week and thank you to everybody who entered the competition and I'll be announcing the prize winners a little bit later. Plus, I'm going to set you another competition for this week where you can win a magic set and a magic wand, all of your own, to do some magic while you're at home. Now, one thing I... Uh, wanted to tell you boys and girls is that um, I've got a little secret. Would you like to know what my little secret is? You would. Oh, that's good. You would, wouldn't you? Joshua wants to know what my secret is. Well, actually, no, I shouldn't tell him. It's, it's private. I shouldn't tell you. You don't want to know. And what's that, Grace? You want to know my secret? Okay, well, if you promise not to tell anybody, it's very, very embarrassing, but I've got a girlfriend. <laughs> I know, she's very beautiful, her name is Mrs Marley, and I love her very, very much. And while I was out walking around my garden earlier doing some exercise, I found a lovely flower, and what I thought I'd do is I'd put that in a little pot for her. Would you like to see the flower? Here it is, look, there we go. That is the lovely flower that I bought Mrs Marley. Isn't it nice, boys and girls? And uh, some of you may have noticed that this isn't a real flower. That's because Mrs Marley suffers with a thing called hay fever. And when she gets near a real flower, they sustain. Excuse me. They sustain. Hey, 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 hey. That's fine. Sorry, we're not allowed to sneeze at the moment. But anyway, it's a very beautiful flower. And uh, even though it's not a real one, it does smell very, very nice. Oh, that smells gorgeous. Would you like to smell? <laughs> oh, isn't that smell lovely? That's very, very... Oh, 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 I seem to have broken the flower. I know. I will hold that like that for three seconds. One, two, three, and then it will stay. Oh, it's not working. Mm, I'm going to have to do some magic to fix this flower. It's a good job I bought a very special magic wand with me today, boys and girls, because, you see, when I'm doing magic for the lady that I love, I don't want to use just any old magic wand. No, I need to use this. This is a Marks and Spencers velvet covered, ebony shafted, silver tipped, handcrafted magic wand with shafts in a red wine dew. And it's a very special. Oh, something smells. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, is that you, George? Oh, no, it's the wand. Oh, it's very smelly. I must have had that in my shopping bag next to the Brussels sprouts. Don't worry, I'll give it a quick clean. Here we go. Anyway, what I do is give us a quick clean and we're going to do some magic, boys and girls. And we're going to put the flower on top of the plant by magic. Won't that be very, very good? What's happening? No, 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 there's nothing happening with the wand. Please don't interrupt. Anyway, so we will put the flower on top of the... Did you say there was something happening with my wand? Did you say that over there, Alicia? Ah, now, oh, ooh. That's very, very weird. I'll keep it down there and I'll hold on to it nice and tight so we can't do anything. Ah! 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 Oh, that went onto my nose. Oh, that's no good. That's going to hurt me. Oh, I think I'm going to have to put that wand away and try and find another magic wand that we can use to do some magic. Ah, this one is perfect. Now, what I need to do is to put a little cloth over the flower so that magic can all happen. And I need my magic bag. Oh, where's my magic bag? Where did I put that? Where did I put that bag? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, hello. Look, it's magic hands. Say hello to everybody, magic hands. Everybody say hello to magic hands. Now, magic hands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the flower inside the bag. And we're going to do some Marley magic. Now, you do all remember the magic words from last time, boys and girls, don't you? It's Marley magic. Because Marley's my name and magic is what I do, that's M-A-R-L-I-M-A-G-I-C. Right, let's do some Marley magic and we're going to send the flower from the magic bag back to the plant and we'll all be saved and Mrs Marley will be very, very happy. Here we go. One, two, three. Marley magic! Let's have a look and see, shall we? 
Let's have a look in the bag. In fact, actually, Hans, why don't you look in the bag for me and just take the flower out and show it to the boys and girls? There we go. Hans, would you just take the flower out of the bag to show to the lovely boys and girls today? Uh, Hans, will you please hurry up? Will you hurry up, Hans? Ha oh, actually, no, 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 no. Take as long as you like, because Play Place are paying me by the minute today. But is it... Oh, oh, goodness me, boys and girls. Oh, no, it seems... Ooh, 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 like the flower has completely vanished. You all did some magic. Give yourselves a great big clap, boys and girls. That was amazing. Fuck, I know what you're thinking. You want to see the flower on top of the plant, don't you? Well, it's there. I want you all to put your hands wide apart, ready to give yourselves a great big clap, and a great big cheer when you see the magic that you've done. Are you ready? Here we go. Hands apart. Three two one give yourselves a great big clap boys and girls there is the flower on top of the plant mrs M oh, that didn't work very well did it i know what we'll do we'll put that on side of that and we'll try that again here we go let's try again boys and girls one two three molly magic that was very good you've definitely done it this time let's have a look inside everybody put your hands wide apart Get ready to give yourselves a big clap. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yay! Oh. Do you know what I think is going wrong here? We've not got enough magic going on to make this work. So I need all of you to get your magic fingers ready. And I need hands to hold this magic wand for me. Hands, come and hold that magic wand for me. Thank you, hands. And I'll get my own magic wand and we'll do it with double magic power. Got to work. Here we go. One, two. Three, Molly Magic. Very good, Hans. Thank you so much. Now, let's have a look inside and see. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, hang on a second. It didn't work for me before, did it, boys and girls? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look behind here before I show you to save any future embarrassment. So you wait there. Let me have a look around and see. There we go. Um, let's have a look and see. Is it there? Is it, I, I can't see it. Can you, can you see it, boys and girls? I, I can't see it. Okay, now let's have a look and see. Let's try it. There we go. Now then, let's try this again. One, two, three. Molly Magic! I'm going to have a look behind there again, boys and girls, and see what's going on. There we go. I don't know. Let's have a look and see. You wait there. Let me have a look and see. What was that? Did you say it was behind me? I'll have a look and see. There's nothing behind me, boys and girls. I've got absolutely no idea what you're talking about. It's on the wand? No, it's not on the wand. Look, there's nothing on there. Hands, they're trying to tell me there's something on the wand. There's nothing on the wand at all. Oh! Hang on a second, it's there. Which means we've got another chance to do the magic. What I'm gonna to have to do, boys and girls, is to very carefully tear that off there, and we'll get magic hands to bring his magic wand over again, and we'll do some Marley magic. Everybody, let's waggle our fingers or wave our fingers, and we'll say some Marley magic. One, two, you're not counting over there. Get ready, here we go. One, two, three, Molly Magic. Let's have a look inside and see. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's vanished. But I wonder if it's on the flower this time. If it is, boys and girls, you've got to give yourselves a big clap. I feel very, very confident about the magic that you've done. So let's have a look inside and see. Are you ready? Three, Two, hang on a minute, hands wide apart, ready for a big clap. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Yes! You did it! Give yourselves a great big clap, boys and girls! Well done! Oh, that's marvellous. Mrs. Marley will be very, very, very happy. I'm going to put that for safekeeping down there. Well, look, thanks for watching, boys and girls. As I did mention, of course, there is a prize uh, that we gave out last week. Excuse me, magic hands, I'm just to talk to the boys and girls. There is a prize uh, for the, would you mind, for the magic wand competition we did last week. And we'll be doing some more crafts in a couple of minutes. And what? Oh! The magic suite, of course. 
pounds only works for magic sweets he can have any sweet that he likes from inside the box absolutely any sweet oh there's none in there now some of you from last week might remember the magic spell let's waggle our fingers everybody waggle your fingers and say marley magic smelly feet can i have a magic sweet please i'll put some magic dust on the top what are you laughing at what are you? they're all laughing at our magic dust but never mind we open up the box it's full of magic sweets there's one for the amazing magic hands give yourselves a great big clap boys and girls i'll see you at the magic craft table in just a moment Hello boys and girls, well I hope you enjoyed that little bit of magic. Welcome back to my craft table. Well today we're going to learn to do another two or three little easy tricks that you can either do with nothing or stuff around you or just make up with some simple bits and pieces, some simple craft materials. The one thing you will need today is a grown-up to help you because we're going to do a little bit of cutting with scissors and I want a grown-up to do that for you just to make sure you stay safe. Well, before I do all of that though, I wanted to say something that I forgot to say last week. <gasps> there were some things I should have said to you about doing magic. The first is, as you know, that magic needs to be a secret. So don't tell everybody how you do your tricks. It's good to get a grown up to help you to learn the tricks, but then just keep that between you and your favorite grown up. And then you can show all the other grown ups and your big brothers and sisters how good you are at magic. The second one is to make sure that you do spend that time to get to know how the trick works and practice so that it looks like you can do it with ease and it makes it even better to do that. But the third thing I want to remind you is that you need to have a moment when the magic happens. And I'll explain what that means as I go along with these two or three tricks that we're going to learn today. Now, the first one is very, very simple. It's actually an optical illusion and you can turn it from an optical illusion into a magic trick by having a moment of magic. Just take a pen, it could be any kind of pen, as long as it's a solid pen, it could be a pencil, it could be a magic wand actually. And what you have to do is you have to hold it about there and uh, you have to wave your magic wands and say the magic words Marley magic. And we'll zoom in for this bit. And if I just wobble it like that up and down, look, you can see that we've made it turn into a wibbly wobbly rubber pencil or pen. And uh, we'll just zoom out again so we can see the whole thing. And that is an optical illusion, but it looks a bit weird. You might not see it properly on camera, but when you do it for yourself and for people in front of you, it really looks like it's a wibbly wobbly made of rubber pen. And that is just an optical illusion, but you make it a magic trick by you saying some magic words first and having a moment of magic. So let's do that again. We'll zoom in again so you can hopefully see this on the camera. You just hold it just right down nearly one end, just between your finger and your thumb, and you just gently wobble it. And if you look at it, you'll see that it looks like it's made of rubber. Anyway, that is how you make magic with just a simple thing, like a pen. But I want to show you something even better. One of my favorite tricks is one of the classic tricks of magic. It's called the Chinese linking rings. You might have seen a magician doing it, or he's got a big ring made of shiny metal, and then another one, and maybe a few more, and then he makes them join together by magic. That's a very difficult trick to learn, boys and girls, but I can show you how you can make your own small version of the Chinese linking rings with just a strip of paper and one, two paper clips. It's very, very simple. I'm going to make a little fold in this piece of paper, and I'm going to put one clip there and I'm going to put the other clip just there. And I'll show you this in a bit more detail in a moment, everybody. So you've got two clips that are separated. But if you wave your fingers over and you say the words Marley Magic, and then you pull them apart, they fly away over the other side of the table. The magic Hen sends them back to me. And look, they've joined together. They've linked together by magic. And if you had to ask somebody then to undo those they'll have to spend a minute or two working out how to undo that look there we go i've got them apart so that really looks like magic doesn't it, it looks like you've made them link together by magic but it works itself 
I'll show you that one more time. You make one paper clip there and one paper clip there and whoops a daisy. I'll do it nice and slowly and I'll do this so that they fall onto the mat in front of me. Two separate clips. One, two, three. Marley magic. Look, here we go. Whoop. Boop. And there you have two clips joined together as if by magic. Now, I'm going to put those down there and I'm going to show you how to do that with two new clips because those have slightly bent. And uh, here we go. This is what you need to do. You need to take a strip of paper. It would be better, because I didn't have any coloured paper today, to use a different colour from the colour of your paper clips. That's just so people can see what's going on. And you fold it into almost like an S shape. And you take your first paper clip and you put that over those two layers, the outer layer and the middle layer. And then you put your second paper clip, whoops a daisy, over the back layer and the middle layer. And you make sure, I'll just show you this on another paper clip. You see it's got two ends, it's got the, 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 the bigger end and the smaller end, if you will, or the smaller curve in the middle. You want to make sure that the two small curves are in the middle piece of the paper. And the bigger curves are on the outside, front and back. And then all you do is just pull the paper. And as you pull the paper together, it brings the clips together. And when you pull the piece of paper, they fall off and they are joined together as if by magic. Now, boys and girls, I hope you like that little bit of magic. And spend some time going back and forth on the video so you can see how that works. And if you want to, use a different colour piece of paper, as I said, or a nice piece of ribbon. But this is my favourite trick of the day that I'm going to show you. And this one involves a plastic cup, a coin, a nice shiny 10p piece, and the magic tube of mystery. Everybody say ooh. Didn't hear you. Say ooh. That's better. You place the magic tube of mystery over the cup, and then we'll put that cup on top of the coin. And then we need some magic words. One, two, three. Marley magic. This is the funny thing. Was that 10p under there before? Have a look. The coin has now completely vanished. Give yourselves a great big clap. You did some magic. Ah, I know what you're thinking. You think it's hiding inside there. But no, it's not inside there at all. That coin has completely vanished. And boys and girls, if you do that with your mummy and daddy, then you can sneak away the money every time you do it. And they'll think you've done a good trick and you get some extra pocket money. And here is the secret. I'll just put the tube back over that cup again and we'll say some Mar Marnie magic words and we'll lift up the cup and put that over there and the coin is back. The truth is the coin doesn't actually vanish or go anywhere. We've done something special to this cup. What I've done is I have taken a plastic cup and a piece of material that matches the top of where I'm going to be working. So I've used some nice little felt here. If you've got some felt, use that. If not, a piece of white paper or card or even a colored piece of paper or card. And then you need maybe a grown up to help you with this. You need to put some glue on the cup. And where you put this glue is around this edge. Now the best kind of cup to choose, firstly is one that you can see through, and also one with a nice wide rim like that. And then you just put some glue on there. Now the best type of glue to use could be a prick stick, uh, one of these hard glue sticks, or some rubber cement copy deck to your grown-ups and all that, or if you've got a grown-up to help you, some yoo-hoo. And what you have to do is when you put the glue around the edge of the coin, uh, edge of the cup, I beg your pardon, you place the cup down on top of your piece of material. Now you need to leave that to dry. If you're using yoo-hoo, it will dry in about five minutes. If you're using Pritt stick, it will take about an hour or so to dry properly. So I'm gonna put that over there because I've got one that I did earlier. So that is now properly stuck on there, as you can see, guys, and then 
again, you need the grown up for this, but what you do is you carefully cut around the fabric so that you just leave the cup. I'm not going to do all of this now because that's going to take too long. And what you'll be left with is this a clear plastic cup with a piece of material stuck around the bottom. And look what happens when you put it on top of the coin. It vanishes. Of course, it's not vanished, it's there underneath. So, this is how you can do the magic. It's very simple. Have the coin, and maybe get a grown up to let you borrow one, put it on there. Have your magic tube of mystery. <laughs> you place it around the cup, you move it over and put it on top of the coin. Then you have to say your magic words. You've got to have a moment of magic. One, two, three, Marley magic. Then you lift up the tube of mystery and the coin is vanished. And then you can do a sneaky thing and say, aha, I bet you think it's inside there, but no, it isn't. It's completely vanished. And then you see, you distract their mind from what's really, really happened. Then you get a big round of applause. And when your grown ups have gone, you can pick the coin, stick it in your pocket, and you've got some extra pocket money. Isn't that brilliant? Well, guys, I hope you enjoy those little bits of magic. Remember to practice. Remember to get a grown-up to help you with any cutting or gluing or sticking. And remember to have a moment of magic every, do every time you do a trick. And guys, in a moment, I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you who's won the competition this week. And I'm going to set you a different challenge for next week's competition. Thanks for watching. Hello boys and girls, well it's competition time and it's time to announce the winners of our magic wand colouring competition from last week. And the first winner, get ready, hold your breath, it's Finley. Here's Finley's picture. Everybody give Finley a great big clap for me. Well done Finley. And our second winner is, wait for it, it's Amber! Everybody give Amber a great big clap. Isn't that a fantastic one that Amber's made? No, look! Who's that with her in the picture? Oh, that's her brother Nathan. Oh, sorry, I thought I was in a bingo advert. But anyway, that's a great one from Nathan too. So I think I'll find a little prize for Nathan in the post as well. So, Finley and Amber and Nathan's mummies, if you can send a message to Play Place on Facebook with your address, then they'll let me know where to send the parcels. And you're each going to get a magic wand and a magic set. Now, what about this week's competition? Well, the magic trick we did was about a flower. So what I want you to do is to draw me a magic flower, a bit like this one that Magic Hands did. Isn't that nice? I think Magic Hands deserves a round of applause, everybody. Thank you very much, thank you. Uh, now, I want you to do a nice picture of a magic flower, get your mummy or daddy to take a picture and post it in the comments under this video before Tuesday, that's Tuesday next week after the bank holiday, about six o'clock in the evening, and then we'll close the entries. And I will announce the winners who will each receive a magic wand and a magic set. There'll be two of you. I will announce that next Friday. And in the meantime, boys and girls, I want you to have a lovely Easter. I've got my own Easter egg. I'm going to go and eat that on Sunday morning. But remember, on this lovely Easter weekend, have lots of fun. Remember that Marley magic makes you happy but it's staying at home that keeps you safe.